Hello guys, my name is Alexey and today we'll talk about mood boards. I will show you how to create mood boards in Figma the way I do it. Mood boards are awesome, they save me a lot of time. Previously I had to create several options of high-res UI designs for my clients. Imagine how much time it takes to create a full homepage design. Now I just create 3 or 4 mood boards and we choose the direction from there. Ok, enough talking, let me show you how to do this. Jumping into Figma and let's create an artboard with the size of A4 page. This will be needed for us uh, to seamlessly export it to PDF later and send it to our client. Let's rename it to Moodboard1. Now I'm jumping to my browser. Here I usually use three resources – Dribbble, Behance and uh, some fonts website. In this example it will be Adobe Fonts. Dribbble is my favorite. Usually when I like something and uh, it's a video, I just uh, take a screenshot of uh, the frame that I really like and paste it into my document. Let's write Moodboard1 as our title. And now I will just copy-paste uh, the UI samples that I like. I will speed up this process so you don't have to watch it for too long. Now it's fonts time, let's find something suitable, something sans serif family, I guess. The only thing that is left uh, are illustrations and icons. Let's find something on Behance. Let's go to Illustrator category and look here. Alright, the first mood board is done. If you like the result, hit the like button and let's continue to the second mood board. The second mood board I would like to make more vibrant with brighter colors and uh, fancy fonts, fancy illustrations. Let's jump into work. You'll see what I mean.
Now it's time to find some fonts. I really like these bubbles. I think they depict what we need better than anything on this mood board. <laughs> uh, the last thing that is left uh, is adding colors. I usually do it at the top of the page or at the bottom and I select uh, three to five colors, the main colors for this mood board. Let's copy it to the second mood board and pick the colors that we are using here. Nice! We have both mood boards ready and it's time to export it to PDF now. So you click plus icon here, select PDF and export to layers. But we forgot one thing. Let's move the colors down and we need to combine these uh, two mood boards in the single page. Otherwise it will be exported as uh, two separate PDF documents. So I put the second mood board here, adjust the distance, great, now we can export. And here is the result. Amazing, isn't it? Ready to be sent to a client. That was my way of mood boarding. Hope you liked this tutorial. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And see you in the next video.